If the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of cos theta to the power of 2n is equal to 5, what is the value of cos 2 theta? So we have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the cos of theta all to the power of 2n is equal to 5. So let's first write this out and see what it looks like cos theta to the power of 0 plus cos theta to the power of 2, right? When n is 1, this will be 2. And then you'll have cos theta to the power of, when n is 2, it'll be 4, plus cos theta to the power of, when n is 3, this will be 6, and so on. It just keeps on going like that until infinity. And that whole sum is somehow equal to 5. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is instead of working with cos thetas all the time, let me just let cos theta equal x. And that will just simplify it a little bit. So this becomes x to the 0 plus x squared plus x to the 4th plus x to the 6th and so on all the way to forever. And that equals 5. Now, this is a infinite series, right? And how, how do you add that? I mean, do we factor? Is there a quadratic? Or how on earth do we add an infinite series? Well, you might remember if the series is geometric and it's infinite, it can be added with a very cool formula, which is a over 1 minus r. a is the first term, and r is basically the common ratio. So how do you get the common ratio? Well, you just take the second term and divide it by the first term, or you can take the third term and divide it by the second term, like that. So in our uh, geometric infinite series here, our first term is x to the 0, which is basically 1, right? Anything to the power of 0. Our ratio is x squared over x0, which is x squared. And just to be uh, on the safe side, we can do it once more, x to the fourth over x squared. That's also the ratio, and that's also x squared. So therefore, r is definitely x squared. So now let's use our cool formula here, a over 1 minus r, and that is all equal to 5. a in our case, we just figured out was 1. 1 minus r, r is x squared, and that equals 5. So now cross multiply, we get 1 is equal to 5 times 1 minus x squared. And this looks like 5 minus 5x five squared is equal to 1. Put the 5x squared on one side. 5 minus 1 is 4. Therefore, x squared is equal to 4 over 5. x is therefore equal to 2 over the square root of 5. All right? So that means, since we let cos theta equal x, that cos theta is equal to 2 over the square root of 5. Now, that's not the uh, value that they want. They want us to figure out cos 2 theta. It would be nice if they only wanted cos theta, but they decided to make it a little bit more challenging and say cos 2 theta is what they want us to figure out. So how do we do this now? We've been th thrown for a loop, right? And you might say, well, no problem. I'll just take out my calculator, figure out theta, and then multiply it by 2. Well, unfortunately, calculators are not allowed on the AMC exams. So without a calculator, how do I do this? OK, not to worry. There is definitely a way of doing it. And I will show you how. So the first thing, of course, is without a calculator, I want to figure out a triangular relationship for cos theta is equal to 2 over root 5. So I'll let this guy equal theta. And in a triangle, the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this has got to be 2, and this has got to be root 5. 
and by Pythagoras you can easily figure out that that's 1. Okay, so that's not going to help you figure out the value of theta because I need a calculator for that. I'm, I, I can't figure out uh, trigonometry without a calculator unless it's very obvious. But I still have to do this cos theta, 2 theta. Well, that's where you use your double angle identity. And some of you may remember this. Basically, the cos of 2 theta is equal to cos theta squared minus sine theta squared. There's a whole bunch of these trigonometry identities, and I definitely think it helps to memorize them, especially on the American exam, since you're not allowed to use a calculator to figure out trigonometry-style questions. Okay, no problem. I know my double, double angle identity, especially now that it's written out. So let's figure this out now. Cos theta. Well, that's easy. It's 2 over root 5. I'm going to keep referring to my uh, triangle there. Sine theta. Okay, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that will be 1 over root 5, all squared. So this will be 4 over 5, and this will be 1 over 5. And therefore, this is 3 over 5. And that is equal to cos 2 theta. So there you have it. So therefore, this 21 is equal to 3 over 5, which is choice D.